So you have yourself a Hubert, and he's moving. But he doesn't quite look like this. He looks a little bit frozen. And that's because we haven't taught him to walk yet. But luckily as the developer, we have all the tools we need to change that. Yoink. And with a simple click, Alright, let's take this back to the basics. What are we trying to accomplish here? When we're looking at an animation, we're really just looking at multiple still frames that flash before us quick enough to where our brain fills in the gaps. And when you have these four images bouncing around, it's hard to tell what's happening, but if you stack them directly on top of each other, you start to piece together the fact that he is moving. And with the way I created my ground, our goal here is going to be to tie our Hubert animation with the ground moving. So anytime the ground moves, we want Hubert to be bobbing up and down. And additionally, we'll take this one step further. The faster the ground moves, the faster we're going to want Hubert's animation to play. So let's take a look at how to do this in the code. Since right now our Hubert is just a sprite, we're going to bring in a pre-built asset. And this will have different animations already built in for us. And as we can see here, our run animation is just those four frames I showed earlier. And we'll go ahead and replace our current Hubert with our new asset we brought in. And we'll want to make sure we redo all the things we originally did to Hubert. Setting the Z order, we'll also need to set the animation, reset the size, and we'll have to give the new asset the move speed variables. And go into our event sheet and change all the actions from our old Hubert to our new Hubert. Once done, you can go ahead and erase Hubert, and then rename the new asset to Hubert. And now we can go ahead and change the time between frames, and we're going to slow this down a lot. This way our minimum speed is going to be the base speed, and we'll add a small algorithm here, which allows us to speed this up as our variable increases. So we can see here at 100 move speed, Hubert chugs along at a slow pace, but then when we upgrade the move speed to say 500, the ground moves faster, and Hubert's animations move faster as well. And we can see that a lot better side by side. And that's it for today's video. Next time we'll be looking at adding enemies, and how Hubert's going to react when he bumps into them. And if that's something you want to see, make sure you hit that notification button. And as always, any thoughts, questions, or concerns, throw them in the comments down below, and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, peace.